I loved you, big as a mountain, when you said, come on. I loved you like a little child, when you said, hold on. I don't know where this love ends. I don't know where it starts. I know, if I went to the end of the world, you'd never leave my heart. This is the office of Dr. Robert Wellington. I am presently not able to answer the phone. However, I will return your call if you leave a message after the tone. Hi, Robert. Jeffrey here. Didn't really expect you to be there. It's just that I don't have anyone to talk to. It doesn't really matter if you're there. It's always mostly me who's talking anyway. It's about Laura. I guess it didn't work, Doc. I, she said I didn't act like a man. I... Fuck. She just left me. She just left me. Fuck! So, you said that you didn't act like a man? Yes. I guess so, Doc. Or something like that. What are you going to do about it? I don't know. I keep working. I, I guess I, I keep working. I do admire your work, your journalistic style, so much, Jeffrey. My wife just recently told me about her friend, who, by the way, is one of your biggest fans since 1983, I believe, and she says that she's planning to do a few... Jeffrey Harper, for the updated news magazine, the article all about men, the date... Something something, February 1996. By the end of the 20th century, due to the changes in traditional established male and female roles in our society, a question about the new meaning of the part which a man should take in both his professional and personal lives arose from the general confusion shared by both males and females. Once we were warriors, once we were hunters, providing the food, shelter and the emotional support for our families. The contemporary men, however, are facing new challenges, new tasks, new problems. What it is to be a man, or rather what it is to be a human being, taking care of children, loving, feeling responsible. I'm from the updated news magazine and the question is what do you think about men or who do you think they should be in today's modern society? Modern man needs to be able to communicate well and can express themselves in, in all the ways that they want to. I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. Sensitive humanistic. Uh, interested in education because education is in a lot of ways the groundwork for the 21st century. So somebody who's got an open mind and uh, is not judgmental. I think he has to have good morals and love his family and have faith in God. I feel that men should not be burdened down with, with old oppressive rules of taking care of women and supporting them and all that kind of junk and garbage. They should be exactly like women. I don't know. We're working for a balance of being sensitive and caring and macho and all the rest of it. I think men just like everybody else, the most important thing is for them to develop their full potential. Mm -hmm. And that means both their male and female selves so they feel good about themselves. The requirement for the new modern man has evolved from the need of the whole new generation, both men and women, for fulfillment.
fulfillment, realization, and personal growth. The role of a man in society and in the contemporary family has changed dramatically over the last 25 years. The liberation of women, the political and social changes brought entirely new demand. So, what are you going to do about it? I don't know. I keep working. I guess... I keep working. Yeah.